Hey guys, what's up? Um, whoever gave me a license is very irresponsible, as you can see by my driving during this entire video. So let's just get that out of the way. And also, first of all, I need to give a shout out to the Riff Riders because I was featured on the podcast about a couple of weeks ago and I shouted them out once on Twitter. I know a lot of you guys don't follow me on Twitter, so um, go listen to them. They're really awesome people. They're really funny. Uh, I'll leave a link down below to the podcast I was actually on with them. Um, but if you're into MMOs, you play Rift or know someone who plays Rift, tell them to go listen to it because it's an awesome podcast. Uh, so that's all. And um, this is me trying to drive because I, I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know who gave me a license. Very irresponsible person. I think her name was Janet. So yeah, Janet's a bad person. She should be arrested because this is what she put on the streets of Las Vegas. So anyway, um... I, like I said, I asked you guys to give me topics to talk about during commentary, and today we're going to talk about writing in the gaming industry, because I know one person asked me about that. Most of you asked me about the possibility of us together, which is very unlikely, but you sent me an email about why I should consider it, and maybe I'll get back to you. Maybe. Depends. Like, if you're an axe murderer, you listen to Nickelback, one of those things. It's like, those are precursors to relationship status. No axe murdering or nickel back. So, there you go. Um, anyway, uh, writing in games is uh, one of those things that I think people ask me about it a lot, actually, and it makes me kind of flatter because I'm not really a big person in the gaming industry. I'm not really known very well. People still ask me, so it makes me feel good inside, like I, I'm, I'm actually a relevant person. But um, the one thing I have to tell everyone is that Writing in the gaming industry has this huge misconception of being um, just gaming all day. And people will think that when you get into um, game journalism or game testing or anything involving the game industry, you're going to be playing video games 90% of the time. And, and honestly, with um, writing, you're playing video games about 20% of the time, actually. Because um, like, when you're writing, it's like... Maybe 60% gaming. I mean, not 60% writing. I wish it was 60% gaming. But 60% writing, about 10% emailing back and forth, PR, um, appearance stuff, kind of things like that. And then the other 20%, 30% actually, is um, actual gaming. So you're not gaming as much as people think you're going to be gaming. And because of that, a lot of people are kind of turned off of it or they don't really understand what their demand, like what's being demanded of them. But um, that's more of like what you have to do to get into gaming journalism anyway. If you, want me got, if you guys want me to talk about that, I'll talk about it more in another whatever this is. But um, as far as writing in the industry, I guess, it is the most rewarding and frustrating thing I've ever done in my life. And I worked at Disney World. That stuff is frustrating and annoying. But um, it's the most rewarding and frustrating thing I've ever had done in my life. Because I'm like anyone who's into gaming... Uh, it's amazing to be able to go to these events and, and, and hang out with these people and see these things and, and experience this stuff. And I think the, fir the first one I went to was CES uh, last year. And I went alone because it is in Las Vegas and it's just right down, like right downtown, like 20 minutes away from my house. And uh, it, it was the most overwhelming and glorious moment of my life because, of course, I'm kind of just this random... I think I should tell a story of how this happened, actually, because I'm, like, 21, but I still dress, like, my age. I'm not that girl that walks around in, like, super high heels and pencil skirts, unless I have to. So, I'm basically wearing t-shirts and skinny jeans everywhere I go and boots. And I kind of walked in to get my badge in the um, Venetian because that's where everything was being passed out. And I think I should let everyone know everyone in this building is wearing business suits. And I walk in wearing these electric blue leopard print skinny jeans and a <laughs> and a vans jacket because it's cold outside and everybody is staring me down because i'm actually walking out of here with a badge in my hand and it was the most awkward thing in my life so of course the next day when i actually went to the convention i was actually just wearing jeans normal jeans of course and just a black t-shirt so i blended in with everyone else who was kind of like wearing suits and other people that were wearing jeans and like polo shirts or whatever that was awkward. It's also a lesson in that. Skinny jeans go back in the closet when I'm working. <laughs> um, but it, it was a good good time. It was a good time. 
if you ever get to go to conventions like PAX or anything like that, I do convince you to go. I always try to convince you to go because it's, it's amazing. It's always fun to meet people like you, and that's really the reason why I really got into this in the first place. Aside from having a, a really a big passion for gaming, is because um, it's a chance to really be myself and enjoy going to work every day and doing something that I love, and not having to like have to drag myself like, oh, I really don't want to be here, but I need money and a paycheck to live, so I'm gonna have to go here anyway. I always wanted to have like a job to where. I can do my job and not just be like, I'm just goofing off and stuff because I don't have to do anything and I'll just, this is fun and not really work. But it's just more been about um, how I feel about the job that I do. Because I forgot who it was exactly, but it's just, as long as I can wake up and say that I enjoy what I do, I'm happy. And like, I don't know how it's got the happiness and whatnot, but it did. But um, writing in the gaming industry is amazing. But frustrating. I think the frustrating part is something I have to get into another time. Because that's a long, 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 exponentially, gratuitously long conversation. <laughs> but, um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, like, swerving all over the place in the street. That's about it, guys. If you want to, um, have me talk about anything, leave it down in the comment section. Go listen to the podcast. I'll leave a link in the description. So, that's about it. I'm going to keep crushing this stuff. See you guys later. Bye.